Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing this matte, sultry makeup look to get ready for pretty much nothing. I've been feeling kind of like a potato lately. I haven't been doing my makeup as much. And you know what? Sometimes even if you have nowhere to go, you wanna feel a little glam and you wanna look good because when you look good, you feel good. You know, with everything going on right now, it's kind of hard to stay positive, but I notice that when I do my makeup, it's crazy like how much of a difference putting on makeup can do for you. It just instantly gives you so much more confidence and kind of like what Charlotte Tilbury says, you give the person the right makeup and they can conquer the world, I think. Give a woman the right makeup and she can conquer the world, which are very powerful words and I I stand this. This is these are words to live by actually. It's nice to feel good. We all like to feel good. So you guys want to see how I got this look and want to kind of get ready with me and just chat about makeup, then go ahead and just keep watching. So first things first, I always like to moisturize with Magic Cream. This is like my go-to daily moisturizer slash primer. It has really hydrating ingredients that are really beneficial for the skin. It has hyaluronic acid, rosehip oil, camellia oil, vitamins A, C, and E. Nice ingredients to plump and prep your skin for makeup. This on the daily, day and night, whether I'm wearing makeup or not, but it's really, really nice beneath makeup because it just leaves your skin so dewy, hydrated, and glowy. I've really been liking the mix of these two, so I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation mixed with the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So I like to go in with the Light Wonder first. Don't mind my dirty brush, but I'm just gonna work that into the skin. And then I'll go in with the Airbrush Flawless. Since this has more of like a full coverage, I like to do it on the areas, like down here, like about that much. I don't do like a specific amount, probably like no more than a pump. That might be more than a pump, but it's okay. And then with this one, I like taking the blender and really just pressing it into my skin. So I like this because it just gives that extra coverage, but I love the Light Wonder because it's a very like hydrating water-based foundation, so it has a nice glow to it. To color correct, I'm gonna be taking the Magic Banish Corrector by Charlotte Tilbury in Medium. I really, really like this formula and overall product. It's just a really good way to counteract any discoloration underneath the eyes or anywhere all over the the face really but I like to use it mainly in my under eyes because I do have slightly a little bit of discoloration so I can even get away with just using this by itself but I just love how thin this formula is it's kind of like second skin and I really just kind of press that in with the Magic Away Concealer, and I use the shade 7 Medium. Kind of that amount of product, and I always like to do a little bit down, like my T-zone. I've really been liking this e.l.f. complexion sponge to blend out my concealer. Recommendation from uh, I Love Sara E. She talked about like how amazing this sponge was, so I went out and got it, and I really, really have been loving it. And then I'm just gonna be taking the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 2 Medium. Lightly set my under eyes. I always like to set my brows because I find that this helps them stay on longer because when I apply my brow product without like setting it, it can tend to move around because the product is more creamy and liquidy. So to contour, I'm gonna be taking the Hollywood Contour Wand in medium to dark. I go back and forth between like using a brush and a sponge, but today I'm just gonna use a sponge and blend that into the skin. And this gives it more of like a natural 
sort of effect. So if you feel like you went a little bit overboard with the contour, try blending it out with a sponge and it blends out a lot easier. Okay, so here I'm just adding a second layer to really build up the color and bronziness. Personally, I don't contour my nose too much just because I feel like it looks funny on me. What I do is just kind of take like whatever's left over like on the sponge or the brush and I kind of just press it right onto my nose. Add whatever is left over and go about my day. I'm gonna be filling in my brows. To fill in my brows, I really love the, the brow lift. I'm using the shade Luscious Brow today. I usually use Supermodel, but I recently ran out and I just placed an order to get one. So it should be coming in the mail anytime now. This one, this one works just fine too. It's just a little bit warmer, but. So with my brows, I pretty much just follow my natural shape and I do extend the tail just slightly to make them a little bit longer. And then I do soft hair like strokes at the front. And I always like to take the spoolie side to really just fluff them up and comb them out to give it a nice natural bushy effect. And I like to take the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This is the clear one, I love this. This is like the only gel that I've tried that really holds my brows in place. So I really just comb upwards to give it that fluffy effect. Now that my brows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes. So I'm gonna be taking the Sophisticate Luxury Palette by Charlotte Tilbury. I have not done a video using this eyeshadow palette on my channel before so I thought it would be fun to do one today. I don't use this one too much but it is a really beautiful sort of basic palette that has pretty much all the shades you need for like a standard really beautiful daytime look. This look I know is inspired by like Audrey Hepburn. Yeah I don't use this one too much so I thought it would be nice to do kind of a more matte look today with my eyes not with my skin i love my glow but i'm going to be taking the first shade right here and kind of just applying that all over at the base and then for my crease i'm going to be taking the enhanced shade which is this second shade right here do a little bit more of like a sultry cat eye so I'm gonna be taking this shade right here just a pop shade so I'm using this pencil brush to pretty much create kind of like an outwards V on the outer corner of my eye and not being super precise with it just extending it to give it a cat eye effect and then I'm going back with my blender brush to really diffuse it and then I'm taking that same shade and running it along my lower lash line and then I'm just continuously building that same motion until I'm happy with the smokiness. Taking my finger and I'm popping into the enhanced shade and I'm just placing that right on my inner corner. Just like so. Here I'm taking the Rock and Coal in Barbarella Brown and tight lining to give my lashes a little bit more of a pop. And then I'm taking that same liner and extending the outer corner to give just like a nice, soft, thin baby wing. I'm just gonna be applying that liner on my waterline as well. Low in light to medium. I'm just gonna be taking my bronzing brush and just applying that kind of over where I did the contour, but spreading it out a little bit more to give me a little bit more color and warmth. Bronzer, I'm gonna go on to highlighter. So for highlighter, I've really been loving the Beauty Light Wand in Pillow Talk. I think this is by far like my favorite shade that she has in the whole formula. As far as highlighting goes, this is just such a beautiful pinky champagne -y shade that looks really flattering on many different skin tones. I'd say if you are of a deeper complexion, then I would do the Pillow Talk Medium. That one is really, really pretty and it still has like that nice pinky undertone. But there's also Goldgasm, which is also very, very beautiful. I love that one too. 
Then here I'm taking the iconic nude lip cheat by Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of my favorite colors and I'm just following my natural lip shape. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna be taking Hepburn Honey. This is like by far one of my favorite lipsticks by Charlotte. It's just such a beautiful brown based nude. This lipstick looks incredible on many different skin tones, but if you are like of a medium to dark complexion and you're looking for a good nude lipstick, I would for sure recommend this one. I've really been loving this Dior gloss in 629. It is really, really beautiful. It has like a nice frost to it. For my blush, I'm gonna be applying the shade Climax. Just right on the center like that and usually always save blush for last because blush is the first makeup product to fade throughout the day that pretty much sums up this look I hope you guys enjoyed it found it helpful let me know whatever you guys are doing to kind of keep yourself busy this is what I've kind of been doing to help time pass by I really want to um, use all this extra time to put into like making more videos and more Instagram videos too. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at rosiebeezy. I hope you all stay safe and stay home and hopefully this will pass by soon. I'm going back to the Bay Area tomorrow. I have some other videos that I filmed yesterday that um, I can't wait for you guys to see so Without any further ado, thank you so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!